What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 5. Just theorizing, obviously. No announcement about the movie yet. Obviously, there might be a many few years from now until we get that announcement. I'd be shocked if we heard anything before 2024. But just to touch on how I would revive the Creeper. Now, I will say I'm going to be borrowing elements from stuff you probably have already read online and stuff that was created by the original creator of the IP. So when it comes to what we saw in Jeepers Creepers Reborn, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, there's so much that was wrong with the movie they didn't need to then also when you have so much already not working for you you do another disservice to yourself when you show the creeper crawling out of the barn like that and then on top of that i found that to be like one of them one of the more decent scenes but also quite laughable in terms of how it was portrayed and what he ultimately ended up doing after getting out of the barn and the lack of taggart the fact that Taggart himself doesn't even appear in the movie. But again, for anyone who's not sure, again, there's a record of Timo telling people that, yes, this movie is set in the same world. It's just that the movies prior were turned into in-world movies. So the Creeper basically has his own stab franchise now, which is another no-no. That should not, that's overly meta for this, I would say. There are meta aspects that were already present since the first movie and some self-awareness, but 4 just takes it to a whole new level and it's overboard and overreaching severely so just to touch on how to revive the creeper again if you want to revive the creeper you should probably just go ahead and follow the the outline that was that was displayed in the cathedral or the method that was displayed in the cathedral script meaning whatever was there hanging it's just an empty vessel somehow some way that would be a new myth, myth new addition to the mythology about it because we haven't at this point seen seen how it awakens if we're going to ignore jeepers creepers reborn we haven't seen what happens when it awakens we haven't seen how it actually is able to come back if it has sustained so much damage and what he had managed to do was at least right in there a solid way to kind of bypass the question of how did he get his wings back how did he get his legs back the creeper isn't just simply back as much as it is he sheds his old cocoon and it's kind of like a i forget what to, i'm just gonna call it a cocoon it's kind of like he just leaves his old body and he's reborn and escapes the barn like that and then somewhere later on in the screenplay we see him manifest after a swarm of crows kind of just appear and then in the crows appears the creeper kind of like i would say in a way Candyman Tony Todd appears at the end of the 2021 Candyman movie so I think that would be the best way to go about it because you can bypass yes having to explain where his where his wings came back from where his arms came back from where his legs came back from in this instance you're getting an answer to that because no matter if he would have lost his legs or not it seems that when he is coming back for another 23 days he sheds his old vessel and is given a new body altogether anyway why is that that again is a question related to his mythos which then of course only adds another bit to the mystique anyway the fact that he took all this damage and really at the end of the day while it may have hurt him, it kind of adds another sting to me to even consider the fact that that's why it gives another edge to why he looks at Taggart like that. When Taggart thinks he's killed the creeper, but the eyes open and he has this like just I'm going to get your ass look in his eyes while the cocoon is covering his face. To me, you know, you could sit there and think, I don't know why you looking like that. You don't have any legs to stand on, bro. <laughs> what are you going to do? Like he literally looks, it looks as though he wants to get Taggart back so badly at the end of the second movie. And you're thinking to yourself, or at least I was like, well, I don't know how you're going to do that. You don't, you can't even stand on two legs. You don't have two legs to stand on. You're miss, missing an arm. You're missing your wings. You'd be easy pickings for Taggart. However, he's older than I am and many of us anyway. What would happen and why that look can now be justified is the fact that he already knows, of course, how his self, would, how he or it itself is reborn every 23 years. It sheds the old and comes back with a new body. So that way it could easily come in there and F Taggart up at that point if it's shedding the old vessel. Because there's a moment in the script where you actually get to see or Taggart actually has a moment in the cathedral script where he thinks he sees it moving. He shoots the harpoon at it, I believe, but it's empty. So then he goes and rushes for Taggart Jr. And then they go all out there in the barn and it's empty. Uh, they discover that it's, that it's empty. There's nothing in there. It's hollow. It's like a hollow cocoon that the creeper has left behind. And then we see it manifest through a swarm of crows later on in the screenplay. 
I think that would be the best way to do it. It would avoid again having to explain how he got his wings back, how he got his arms and legs back. You could just say he's not that's not something you should be worried about because every time he comes back or it comes back, I keep saying he every time it comes back, it sheds the old and gets a new body. So the characters involved with it, honestly, again, still at this point, I know many of you are on the same page as me. You need to have Trisha. You can honestly throw in a Justin Long cameo. Obviously, this is just me having some wishful thinking there with that Justin Long cameo. I will say I don't ever see this man re returning to this IP. I just see him always being grateful for the opportunities that that opened for him after it debuted in 2001. And I don't blame him for not wanting to return anymore. I'm not saying that's what he what it is. I just believe that he's in a place right now where he would not return to this IP if they are able to get him back that would be that would be wonderful to have he had, he at some point Justin Long that being did indeed again reveal he was going to have a cameo in Cathedral it wasn't part of the script or anything from what you can read from the script that's out there but it was going to be weaved into the storyline in some capacity of course that never came to fruition but my five you would bypass having to answer all those questions just give him a new body saying that he sheds the old gets a new you focus on Taggart focus on Trisha you can throw in some returning characters from Jeepers Creepers 2 uh bring in Giselle and have it honestly again i just want to touch on the psychic stuff really quick to end the video bringing in giselle that is all you need as far as psychic stuff i feel as though they've done that twice or three times ever since she has not been in the last three movies there's a need and a desire to have somebody with visions and it's like bro the difference with giselle is that you have made it you made it effective that she was a psychic she wasn't just having visions of the creeper she was just a psychic that happened to have that vision related to the creeper Every other movie seems to be adding an unexplained mythos as to why people keep having these visions. And it's like, okay, stop. Just bring Giselle back. That would be ideal for part five. Or if you don't, just stop with the visions. Just stop with the visions. Please just stop. <laughs> but that is how I would revive the Creeper. I would kind of just pretend as though that old body is no longer useful, which we clearly see at the end of two. It, it can't be. When you wake up, you have no arms. You have no, you have no legs. <laughs> your wings are gone Taggart would easily f you up but it would add some weight under the look he gives Taggart because there's something Taggart doesn't know he doesn't know that when this thing wakes up it's not going to be in that body it's going to be something that is shedded and he can come from behind kill Taggart take it from there or not kill Taggart take it from there let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video